A dress book is a fantastic way to keep your contacts in order. Whether you've got all your contacts stored neatly in some electronic device, or are still hanging on to your tattered address book, your personal organizer, or your business card collection, a dress book makes managing the important people in your life simple. A dress book allows you to enter all sorts of information about a person, including his or her email addresses, phone numbers, websites, chat names, and even the members of their families. And because it's a system-wide application, you can email, chat, or visit a contact's website directly from a, an address book card. If you want to add someone to an address book, here's how to create a contact card. Open the address book, like I just did there by clicking on the icon, or by opening it up from the application folder. The system interface displays a group column on the left for grouping contacts, a name column in the middle, and a card pane on the right for viewing a selected contact's information. I want to add a contact, so I'm going to click on the plus sign. And now I'm presented with a few different options. Let me put my, myself in here. Kieran, my last name McCormack. And the company, well I'm not a company, I'm just a friend. If I was a company, when I check the company box, it prioritizes the company name as the first part of the contact. I can add in a work number, I'll just make one up. I can add in a mobile, I'll make one up. And if I also want to add in a fax number or some other number, click on the plus sign and I have a drop down menu. I can click on main, home fax, work fax, a pager. I can even click on custom and type in second mobile. So you can customize what you would like in here. Type in the number. If you don't want any one of these, just click on the red minus sign and it's deleted. We can add in an email address. I'll add in and make one up again, me at me.com. And I can even add in some friends' names or I can change one of the drop down menus to a child, a sister, a brother, a parent, a mother, or a father. I can add in a work username. And this often is the case if you're using an instant messaging piece of software, such as iChat. I can then add in the address, the city, postal code, country, and make a few extra notes if I wanted to add them in here. But when I'm finished, just click edit again, and I'm now finished. If I want to look for a person, I can use the search field up here and type in their name, John, and instantly I get John Daly. I can see the company he's from, 3G Mobile, the work number and also his email address. If I'd like to email them, all I have to do is click on the email, click on send email, and instantly mail will open up with John Daly's email address ready to go, and then I can just send the email or write the email when I'm finished. I'm going to close this down. Finally, I can also do a couple of other very interesting things from this. If you prefer to see only a contact card instead of the three pane displays, you can click on the view card only button in the toolbar in the upper left hand corner. One of the really nice things I do like about this as well is you can also create groups. So let me just click on the X sign and let's say John Daly and Apple are people I would meet on a daily basis for, for some reason. Let's say they are my meeting partners. I can click on in the group section, the plus sign, type in meeting partners and now I created my own special group. When I click on all, I can drag in Apple and I can drag, drag in John. And now when I click on my meeting partners, I've actually categorized them into different groups. They'll always be there in the all group, but I can also be specific on who I want in this group. And that's a dress book.